or should I say bon dia? Because this first edition of Eating People is all about Brazil. Feijoada, the national dish of Brazil. Now let me tell you a little bit about the origins of this dish. Because it's really the origins of these dishes that I'll be presenting in the weeks to come. As I feel that a lot of people know how to cook, know how to eat, but perhaps know less about the origins. So the feijoada, some people say it might come from the cassoulet in France, uh, but try telling a Brazilian that. Feijoada is a cauldron of black beans, which was used principally to feed the slaves when they were taken from their homes and implanted into Salvador, Bahia the former capital of Brazil. I'd like to mention at this point that there was an enormous difference in the quantity of people that was sent to Brazil versus the US. In the Carolinas, for example, 640,000 slaves were imported, but in Salvador, Bahia, six and a half million. This, I think, is the reason that Brazil is such an exciting place with this huge incursion of African culture in Af with African religions, African music, African rhythms, and African dishes. So, let's talk about the feijoada. We were talking about this big black cauldron of, um, of black beans. And I want to just show you what goes into this cauldron. So here, we have a number of some quite unappetizing looking, looking things. And indeed, it's the unappetizing ingredients here that were given to the slaves, where the cruel overseers had parts of the pig round this side of the plate. Let me explain. Here is a pig's ear. Here's a pig's tail. And here's a pig's trotter. None of these really look very appetizing at all. I have had deep fried pig's ear before, now in Australia, delicious. But pig's tail uh, is not as good as oxtail, there's much less to it. And pig's trotter, well, some stuffed pig's trotter uh, from Mr. Kaufman, for example, are very delicious. But in general, this is not something that one wants to be eating. Coming round the table here, though, here we have carne seca. This is, I'm very lucky to find this, and I want to pay tribute to my dear friend Gaucho, uh, who lives in Halston in his butcher, Kikani, who uh, I buy all this stuff from. Very hard to find indeed. So carne seca, salted beef, and then the costellina, also very salted. You have to soak these for uh, 24 hours, keeping on changing the water to get the salt out. Then coming round here, you have the pio sausage. You have those in Portugal quite a bit. Then bacon, then chorizo, everyone's familiar with that. Beef shoulder. We stick a whole orange into this dish. Well, some people say you need to stud it with cloves. I don't really recommend that because like, like many people, I have this nightmare of bread sauce with, with cloves in. But a whole orange in it is very good. And the garnish, later on, you will see comes along and the acid uh, and sweetness of the orange combats quite well with the full fattiness of, 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 the, of, the, of the black bean stew. Coming round here, ten bay leaves, onions, garlic, Kove, and then of course the black bean. I have here, this is my kitchen by the way, we won't always be here, but I, I carried these tiles back from Lisbon uh, thanks to my dear friends um, Elena and Isabel. Thank you both of you for your advice on these tiles, which I'm very happy with. This is Kove. Kove is chopped up very, very thinly. Um, I use spring greens but sometimes flat kale is thought to be uh, the better way to go. You have a little onion and garlic in here as well. Um, in the little pot, I am making a vegetarian feijoada for some family members who are not so keen on meat. Now, 
Let's have a look at this. So here it, it, it's all bubbling nicely, perhaps a little too nicely, so I think I need to just turn it down a little. But here you have all of this fantastic black bean um, and bacon and the onion, and it, it looks absolutely ready. Let me just give a little taste. Now this, by the way, is a fabulous uh, thing. It's called caldo de feijoao. It's, a, it's, a, it's black bean soup, and it's so delicious just on its own. It's completely ready, and somehow that sweetness of the orange really works well. What do you have with the, uh, with the feijoada? Well, one very important thing uh, is manioc. And manioc is the, um, the manioc root, and this is called farofa, and Brazilians really like this. It's really um, a substitute for potatoes. Um, I think it's, it's delicious. I want to mention cachaça in, in two senses. When I was making the feijoada, I put in some, uh, about 80 milliliters of, um, of cachaça. I used this chap, and this is a, a nice cachaça. It's, it's too nice for a feijoada, but anyway, I used it. And what are all these, you might ask? Well, these are these famous ribbons. I even have one on my wrist. The thing is, that it's from Our Lady of Bonfim, and the idea is that you have three knots, and as they fall away, your wishes, your three wishes come true. The only trouble is they've started making them in polyester, so they never disintegrate. I've had this, I think, for like five years. Um, I'd like to show you a picture now of, of Our Lady of Bonfim. It's a very special church, perhaps the most loved church in this intensely religious country uh, that is Brazil. To wash this down, uh, let me show you uh, all about a caipirinha. A caipirinha is very straightforward, providing you've got some really good cachaça, which this is. Um, this was given to me by Grasa, thank you very much Grasa from Bahia. Um, and you crush limes, um, fresh limes, you add a bit of sugar. With the quality of this cachaça, you really don't need much sugar. And then you add ice and stir it around. It really uh, is a fantastically clean and delicious drink. Now, let me um, dish up. So let's see what this is going to uh, look like. So the key thing always is to try to have a little bit of everything. So here we go, we get a little bit of bacon, uh, we've got the pie sausage, the beans are obviously completely fundamental, there's the chorizo. I want to try and get a bit of, um, of the, um, yes that's good, there's the, there's the costella. I think that's going to work for me for the time being. Uh, there's much, much more of this stuff here, but I'd like to now have uh, a bit of uh, Covey on the side, and then let's have that there, and then a bit of orange. Uh, we go here, and then the farofa on the side. So now. Frankly, the thing that really matters here is, is, is the juice. So looking at this, oh, and, uh, there's also uh, rice as well, which um, I will add in one minute. But let me just try, I need to try this, this juice again. Very happy with the juice. And I'm just coming round to get some ice, rice now. I really recommend this dish. Brazilians have it on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Um, it's particularly famous in, in Rio. Uh, and it was the very first dish that I ever had in Brazil when I left for Brazil uh, nearly 40 years ago after my degree in Portuguese. And I was sent to Sao Paulo and the charming guy, Auzis, hello to you, um, who greeted me at the airport, took me straight to this feijoada, 
and uh, I've always remembered it. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you try this at home or in a restaurant. There are several Brazilian restaurants in Camden which are good, uh, but it's, uh, it's quite a lot of work, but it's worth it. Thank you.